So a while back, a while back, I listened to this interview from Steve Harvey. And in the interview, he was talking about how important it was to, in his words, stay on the wall. And what he meant by stay on the wall was, imagine that there's war going on. You're literally in the midst of a battlefield. <clears throat> there's shots going off. People are burning. Things are exploding all around you. Your job that you're completely in control and responsible of is to remain on the wall. Now, when you're on the wall, you can see and identify everything going on around you, but you're not vulnerable to it because you have this heightened level of awareness. This heightened level of awareness is your safe haven. It's your safeguard, and it is what will eventually propel you to where it is that you're going. I think that this story is extremely important. And the reason being, I understand that success is something that seems like it's very elusive. It seems like it runs away when we feel like we have it in the palm of our hands. It just gets taken from us at the last minute. And I'm here to say that success is not getting taken away. And by the way, let's clarify, success is what, whatever you deem it as. It could be money. It could be familial structure. It could be a certain state of mind that you want to stay in. Success is whatever you define it as. And if it's something that is worth it to you, then you feel me. You understand how tough it can be sometimes trying to achieve that thing. And when you feel like you are right there at that waking hour, you're ready to claim what is rightfully yours, and something happens to fuck it all up. Success is not running away from you. As a matter of fact, you're running away from success because we don't win anything when we win. That's not what success is. Success, we need to redefine what it is. Now, <clears throat> achieving a goal is great, and achieving a goal is going to give you a sense of happiness, but it's not gonna give you the fulfillment that you're looking for. You see, when you win something, the thing doesn't matter as much as the journey does because the journey is what curated the environment for you to achieve the thing in the first place. You understand? So the success needs to be taken away from the destination and put into the journey. You're already successful if you're on the path to your destination. Now let's reel it back into staying on the wall. If success is in the journey on the way to the destination, and there are these obstacles that we're facing on the way to the destination, then it would make us successful, even more successful, to overcome the battles along the way, just by default. And this is where staying on the wall comes into play. This is where that level of awareness comes into the picture. We need to understand when something is coming into our life to sabotage our dreams. Nothing is here to sabotage you. There are things here that are meant to make you a better version of yourself. And yeah, you're not gonna always be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel because the tunnel has twists, it has turns, it has ups, it has downs. That's just the way life goes. And it's supposed to be that way because if it weren't like that, you wouldn't be a version of yourself that you could be proud of. So how do you handle these obstacles, you ask? Handling obstacles varies from person to person, but I wanna give you my personal formula and maybe it'll work for you because it has worked extremely well for me. I've always been the kind of person that I'm a dreamer. I dream extremely big. I want things that I can't even imagine how I'm gonna achieve it. Now, the problem that I've had in my life is I hang my hat on my destination. You know, I think about whatever I want and I'm like, that is what I want. And then I ignore the entire process of receiving what it is that I want. And then things will come left and right attacking me. And I just get knocked off the track. And I get emotional and I get passionate. Passion, we're going to make another video about passion. But passion is one of those silent killers. You don't really want to be passionate. We'll talk about that later. Um, but fighting these battles, how have I conquered the battles of life. Mind you, I'm only 29 years old, so I'm just speaking from my experience. I know that life is going to throw some shit at me that I don't know how to handle. But in this very moment, I handle the problems in life 
literally by breathing, bro. Literally by doing nothing and just breathing. When my house is on fire, my world is on fire, I do absolutely nothing. I feel every emotion. I get angry. I get sad. I get pissed off. I get emotional. I get all these things. But I do absolutely nothing because I know I have this level of awareness that says, bro, you are not in the right state of mind to do anything about it right now. It don't matter how strongly you feel about it. I go journal. I write. And I know when I say journal, some people are like, oh, dear diary. Nah, I'm talking just taking a pen to a paper and writing everything that comes to your mind. Even the word um. I'm not sure if you've realized, but in this video, I haven't stuttered much. I haven't said um. I haven't seemed unsure of myself. And the reason is because I write. When you write, you're in tune with your inner spirit. And that level of awareness, it rises you above your problems. I don't know about you, but I always want to be able to look down at my problems. I don't want to look up at my problems and feel like there's an uphill battle. So when things hit the fan, take some time to be with yourself. That means no social media. That means no distractions, no TV, no PS5, no 2K, no none of that stuff. Even if it's just five minutes, it doesn't have to be the entire day. But you do need to tap in with you. I know too many people that refuse to do so. Or when you have this conversation with them, they'll swear up and down like, oh, no, I'm in tune with myself. But then they're the same people that are reacting to life. We get exactly what we ask for. And there's this force in the universe that it's neither good nor bad, but it works both ways, okay? Okay. If you say that you don't want something to happen to you and you don't want this particular thing to happen to you, right? And you don't want this to happen to you more than you do want something else, you're going to get what you don't want. It's just the way life goes. It's kind of like when your girl goes through your phone because she wants to see if you're cheating and she finds something. She knew she was going to find something deep down inside. And in fact, she attracted that into her world because that's what she went looking for. We get exactly what we search for. And if you have uncertainty of how to achieve what you want and all you can see is the negative, maybe that is just a moment for you to enjoy that valley because sometimes the valleys are meant to slow us down and bring us to this present state of mind to where we can think more clearly, we can see life more clearly, and maybe we can course correct. Maybe course correction is necessary, but we need to be put into these valleys to actually see what's going on. Let me rephrase that. We need to be put into these valleys, and we need to navigate the valley extremely well. Navigate the times when you're down even better than you navigate being up. And I tell you what, most people, when they're up, they don't handle it. <clears throat> Excuse me. When people are up, a lot of them don't handle it well. They let it get to their head, and that's, that's not what you want to do. So very short, concise video. I just wanted to get this point across. Make sure you are staying on that wall. You're maintaining that level of awareness. And I'm not going to say that you're going to get everything that you're looking for. And I'm not going to say that the things that you want are going to come to you quickly. But the fulfillment level of your life is going to increase. Your quality of life is going to go up. And that is going to have a ripple effect. And next thing you know, you're going to be getting blessed from left and right. And you won't even begin to thank the universe enough. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Send this video to someone who may need the message. I'm your boy, Fit Like Chris. And I'm going to see you in the next one.